Hello, my name is Tamara Goldbogen, and I am with the Arts Learning Collaborative, where we support high quality arts learning experiences at Weber State University and across the state of Utah. In this video, Erin Roundy is going to walk you through some easy steps for completing a visual arts project. You can check out our website at weber.edu slash artslearning, where you can find more videos like these and other resources to help you bring the arts into your classroom. Please feel free to share this with your friends and colleagues. Welcome. Our lesson today is titled Kinetic Art. The objective of this lesson is to explore movement and balance in a three-dimensional sculpture, with the final product being something like this, an origami Utah bird mobile. You will need the following to complete this project. An assortment of six inch by six inch paper squares. You can use traditional origami paper in solids and or decorative patterns. Text weight paper in an assortment of colors. When I talk about text weight papers, I'm referring to paper that you would put in your printer where it is lightweight and very flexible and bendable. You can also use scrapbook paper. Again, you wanna make sure that it isn't cardstock, that it is more of the lightweight text weight paper where it bends and folds very easy. Two wooden dowels we'll be using in this art project, the quarter inch in diameter and 12 inches long, yarn, a hole punch, a pair of scissors, some kind of writing utensil, an assortment of plastic pony beads. Be sure to check out the description below for a full list of materials. Before we get started, let's go over the important vocabulary words that you need to know. Kinetic, shape, form, and balance. Kinetic means relating to motion. Kinetic art is art that depends on motion for its effects. As sculptural constructions, the movable parts can be activated by a motor, wind, hand pressure, or other direct means. Shape. Shape is one of the seven elements of art. Shape is defined by an enclosed line Shape is also a two-dimensional or flat object, meaning that it has length and width, but no depth. Form is another of the seven elements of art. Forms are three-dimensional shapes expressing length, width, and depth. Balance is one of the principles of design. Balance refers to the visual weight of objects, colors, textures, and space. When we talk about balance in an artwork, we talk about visual balance. That is where, as we look at it, we see the visual weight of the objects or elements that make up that art. When we talk about actual balance, we are talking about the actual weight of a piece of artwork. And in our kinetic art project that we'll be completing today, we will need to consider both visual balance as well as actual balance. Keeping these things in mind, let's get started. We're going to first go through the steps to create a bird base. You'll find that most origami bird shapes start with these same basic folds to create the base structure. Once you're familiar in making the bird base, you can go on to making a variety of bird forms. I first want to point out that if you are using paper that has a decorative side or a solid side, and then the opposite, either has a solid color or white side. If you are wanting the decorative paper to face out when you've completed your origami bird shape, you wanna start with the decorative paper facing up. Here again, I am using a six inch by six inch sheet of lightweight paper. We are going to start by creating diagonal folds where I'm going to take this bottom right-hand corner and I'm gonna fold it up to this upper left-hand corner. And I will do the same thing using the bottom corner here and folding it up to meet this right-hand corner. It's important to line up your edges and make sure you have nice creases. Now that you have your diagonal folds here, we are going to flip the paper over. Now I'm looking at a solid white, and here I'm going to create both a horizontal 
and a vertical fold. Again, I'm lining up my papers, my edges, and coming in and giving myself a really nice crease. Now that I have my horizontal fold, my vertical fold, and those two diagonals from the time I was folding on the decorative paper facing up, I'm going to orient one of my diagonal folds so that it is horizontal to myself. Pinching the sides and popping the middle down, I'm going to collapse it into this diamond shape right here. You may need to reinforce your folds as sometimes when you're layering folds on top of each other, they kind of shift a bit. Now that I have this diagonal shape here, the closed end is furthest away from me at the top, whereas the open end is facing me down here at the bottom. We're going to go ahead and take this top layer and we're gonna fold it into the middle crease that we have here to create a smaller triangle. I'm lining it up and again, making sure I have good creases. I'm going to do the same thing on this side, taking the top layer and lining it up with that middle crease. Then I wanna take this top triangle and I want to fold it over. So you have something like this. Open these back up. Then I'm gonna take that top layer of paper and going up to that crease I just made with that triangle, I'm going to open it up and I'm going to reverse fold both sides. So I have this longer, skinnier, triangular shape here going back and reinforcing those folds. I can go ahead and collapse it. And now I'm going to flip over my diamond shape. Again, making sure that the closed end is at the top furthest away from me and that the open ends are at the bottom and closer to myself. And I'm going to repeat the same thing I did on the other side by grabbing this top layer going to the center, creating a smaller triangle, and I'm gonna do it over here as well. Can go ahead and take that top triangle and reverse fold it. So again, we are left with this shape. We'll open it back up, taking that top layer, and just coming to here, we are gonna reverse fold. So we create that long skinny triangle. So you can see that this particular shape is our bird base. For some of the bird forms that you are going to make, this is the next step in which to help you build that bird. In a couple of the other bird examples, you will be actually starting where the longer triangle is opened up like this. Now that you know how to make the bird base, I want to point out that the three bird forms you'll be learning to make and use in your Origami Utah birds are three that I have chosen from Utah's three main habitats, deserts, forests, and wetlands. To represent the desert habitat, I chose the burrowing owl. For the forest habitat, I selected the broad-tailed hummingbird. And to symbolize the wetlands, I picked the sandhill crane. I've chosen the following video tutorials to help you learn how to make these three bird forms. It's up to you how many of each bird you would like to make. Maybe you wanna focus on only one of the bird forms. You can also make other types of birds that you find in Utah. You are welcome to make different size birds. And as long as you start with a square piece of paper, you are good to go. 
If you would like to add different origami shapes, such as stars and flowers, go ahead and look up videos that can teach you how to make those. And if you want to use different types of paper, such as newspaper, wrapping paper, cardstock, magazines, you can go ahead and do that as well. The possibilities and options are endless. Now that we've finished folding our papers into the three different birds, in the next video, we will learn how to make the framework that we will use to hang our origami birds from to create our kinetic mobile.